Welcome to Social Disorder. Uh, you guys voted last week and you chose... Aaron. To win. Wow. I'm so... Upset. About it. Yeah. This is a special episode of Social Disorder. This episode we are both going to our 10 year high school reunions. We each came up with a list of things for each other to do. This is probably the most painful one of these we've ever had to do. You ready? Yeah. When you go to a high school reunion, you have to look good. So I picked out some special items for Aaron to wear at his reunion so he could remind everyone how cool he is. Wait, what other things? Well, here goes up. Take them all. Because you're not going to wear any of this. What is that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Chris, why does it look like that? Where'd you get this from? Oh no! There. <laughs> and because no one should go to a reunion alone, I've arranged a special date for Chris, so he doesn't feel weird. No, Aaron, no. Yes. <laughs> I'm not taking, I'm not. You have I'm to. I'm not doing it. Yes. She's your date tonight. Her I'm name not, is Veronica. She's very fit. She's an active lifestyle despite, you know, the wheelchair. She's I'm perfect. not doing it, man. Don't <laughs> do whatever. I'm not taking yeah, it. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yes. No, Go. I'm not. Time to mix it up. This is Aaron. He's a good friend of mine in high school. We used to party at his house all the time. Some of the best parties of my life, dude. This guy looks like he's directing porn movies. <laughs> I am directing porn movies. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I just, I'm excited to see what everybody like, looks like, mainly, is doing. Yeah. You look the exact same. Good for you. You know, uh, a few more pounds, so pardon me. We we met um, about a year ago oh, okay. at, in Austin. Oh, Austin. Yeah. Huh? That's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where you try dating normal, and then, you know, it's like it just didn't work out, so. so huh. yeah. It's a little different, but, yeah. <laughs> You know. Where do you live? Uh, LA, mostly. Yeah? Yeah. Doing the LA? film thing. Yeah. I'm gonna be in the new Fast and the Furious movie. No sh Yeah. Really? I'm gonna be Paul Walker's double. Oh, how, that's weird. How are they doing that? I don't know. I Somehow they have extra footage of his face, and so they're just gonna put it on me, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's people get weirded out by it, you know. She's gay. Yeah, she's anatomically correct. Yeah. See? How's it going? Well, what have you been up to? Uh, it's like, we're going to Dallas. How about yourself? What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, I was in LA doing the acting thing. You know, you, you get in between things, and, you know, but every now and then, you know, you need, you know, some. You know. Hey, how's it going, guys? I think we had we had one class together. I can't remember. What were you guys talking about? I was about to ask for 40 bucks, but I didn't want to, you know. You kind of interrupted it. I'll leave you guys alone. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Anyway. Yeah, I don't remember him either. Probably one of the weird kids. You know, whatever. Uh, honestly, though, you think you spot me 40 bucks? No, I'll just, I'll leave you alone. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What? So, I'm you, you did not hear What did he say? He said she's anatomically Anatomically correct? Holy <laughs> So no wonder he's valid and story. You know they say like the line between being smart and And crazy. Yeah. How's it going? I remember you, yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had a uh, pep rally, you played guitar, right? Well, I actually joined a couple bands. Yeah. I, I was touring with Van Halen for a little bit. Nice. And then Eddie kind of kicked me out because he was like, what? Who is this guy, right? Yeah. So, you know, I left that. What do you do? I do IT in the oil industry. What, uh, what's the job situation like over there? It's a good place to be. 
That sounds good. Because like, you go from guitar playing and you're like, what are you gonna do next, right? Like oil, oil, like yeah. oil's everywhere, right? Yeah, oil's not the best place to be right now though. Well, let me know if there's any jobs over that way. Right, yeah. See, start out thinking I was cool, now it's forever ruined. Um, could she get an another taco? Her food's a little cold. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Here you go, babe. Yeah, this one's hotter. I think Cherie was saying there's a fine line between genius and craziness. He was? No, he is. Oh. Really? Yeah, two marriages in 10 years. That's not even counting the third marriage I'm in right now. Oh, really? Yeah. She's probably looking for a divorce right now. Oh. Yeah. I dibble dabble in divorce law. You gotta, you gotta dibble dabble. When you have as many divorces as I have, you have to know the law. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's going on with uh, <laughs> Chris, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. There is a, uh, a disorder of that. It's, like, it's like a social yeah. disorder. Have y'all met? Huh? Have y'all met? No, I haven't met. Victoria, right? Yeah, uh, Veronica. Veronica, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Careful where your eyes are looking, though. <laughs> I'm serious. How y'all doing? Hey, what's up, Rhea, dude? How's it going? So I was thinking, what do you guys think about, so they got some food over there? Why don't we go take a shit in the food? Um, what? Like old times, we go, we take a shit in the food. Normally I don't shit where I eat. You don't have to eat the food. You just have to shit. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. no. I'm gonna go shit in the, in the food. And if you guys wanna come shit in the food, it's right over there. We're gonna go shit. All right, good luck. Yeah. There you go. Oh, well, thank you. We tried to um, have a baby at one point, but the doctor said it was, it's tough. We're working on it, I just don't know if I'm fertile. Are you ready? Oh, no Performance of a lifetime, because it is your lifetime. Can I say something? Okay, I'm gonna give a speech. Hello everyone. I'm super excited to be here. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to get into a great uh, investment. Okay, yeah. I just wanna say thank you all for coming out. So with that being said, I'm gonna ask Chris. Chris, you wanna say anything? Introduce. All right, sure. Uh, I just want to say it's 10 years, it's gone by so fast, but I never forgot the Longview Lobos, right? Longview Lobos! Longview Lobos! I basically paid a mentor $5,000 and I got the opportunity to spread this to you guys. So if you give me $5,000 and I give him a $1,000 referral, then I can get a, a percentage off of that. The two most important moments in my life, it's gotta be graduation, and then whenever I met Veronica. <laughs> if you, anyone is interested in that, just raise your hand. Um, you walk into a room and it's dark, and then she comes in and it's like, who turned on the lights? Who turns on your lights? You know? Graduation was my favorite moment. Second favorite moment of my life was when I met Veronica. And you know, I think my third favorite moment might be right now. Here's the truth, guys. LA is tough. So you end up doing things that you don't want to do, shooting videos that you don't want to make. I wasn't planning on doing this now. 
Veronica. I met you about a year ago, and you changed my life forever. LA will eat you up and spit you out. And it's, it's tough, right? And, um, All right. You are the one for me. And I would like for you to be my wife. No? Did you say no? Are you, are you, are you serious? Are you seriously going to do this right now? No, it's fine. I'm sorry. Can you all please turn off the cameras, please? You didn't tell them afterwards? No. I thought we were going to bootleggers. No. They just are going to think that you're crazy forever. I thought we were going to bootleggers. I thought we were going to after parties. I didn't tell them. <laughs> I would have told them if I didn't think. You didn't tell me we weren't going to bootleggers. I would have told them. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're just gonna. Why didn't you tell me? I would have told them. <laughs> They're just gonna think you're crazy. I would have told them. I thought we were gonna tell them. Nope. <laughs> well. Oh well. I guess there's the next reunion. We are about to get killed. What is happening? The cameras are not working. Oh God, what is that? Uh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh! I think a little bit of poop came out. <laughs> Hey, if you enjoyed Social Disorder and want to see more seasons, please, please, please check out our shirt in the Rooster Teeth store. It'll get you laid. 